The Lexus RX has long remained a great choice for buyers in the market looking for a well-appointed luxury SUV, especially one focused more on comfort than performance. But as the RX model from Lexus is generally regarded as a reliable SUV, it's far from perfect, and car experts have pointed out features that should be noted. Keep watching this video to find out what they are. Missing the V6 with the sweet V6 engine no longer available, the available hybrid powertrain is now your best option in the 2023 RX engine lineup. Combining a 2.5-liter gas engine with an electric motor for a system total of 246 horsepower, the hybrid feels notably more responsive than the base turbo four-cylinder and is nearly as quick. Better still is an estimated improvement in combined fuel economy of 12 mpg more compared to the base engine. Now, the world is changing, so we understand the logic behind Lexus joining its competitors in going for a greener turbo four-cylinder engine in place of the old V6 for a better fuel economy and lower emissions. In this case, however, the switch takes away one of the best qualities of the RX, replacing a smooth, refined powertrain with a coarse-sounding turbo 2.4-liter four-cylinder. What's worse is that the power delivery is inconsistent, with noticeable acceleration lag, unlike the more linear delivery experienced from previous V6 models. Ride stability. Being a bigger SUV, the body roll is noticeable but not alarming. It's never going to ride like a McLaren or Lotus, but you will feel some bouncing on the offset ups and downs, but at the same time, not enough to feel queasy. Its softness carries over to the brakes, which seem to have a spongy pedal with lots of travel. It certainly doesn't encourage sporty driving like a BMW X5 does, and it feels heavy and ponderous by comparison. Fuel economy hasn't improved much. The front-wheel drive of the all-new 2023 Lexus RX is estimated to return 25 mpg in the city as well as highway driving along with 24 mpg with all-wheel drive. Now that's an improvement of 1 mpg over last year's V6. The RX 350h hybrid will see much more significant gains and is said to be at 36 mpg combined, which is an improvement of 6 mpg from its predecessor and is most likely the most fuel-efficient midsize SUV on the market for 2023, but not all the data is in yet. Also, the RX 500h is rated at a very respectable 27 mpg combined. While the new four-cylinder does save fuel compared to the old V6, it's not all that much. The one or two mpg increase in combined fuel economy is certainly welcomed overall, but is this small difference worth the loss of the V6 engine? It's likely many Lexus buyers would think not. Aggressive Driver Monitoring the 2023 RX features the new Lexus Safety System Plus 3.0 suite. This includes automatic emergency braking with pedestrian detection, motorcycle detection, and intersection support. It also has lane departure alert with steering assist and all-speed adaptive cruise control with curve speed management. The available advanced park feature on the 2023 Lexus RX provides automated assistance with parallel parking, backup parking, and forward-facing parking. The available driver monitor system is designed to make sure drivers stay alert and sound an alarm if it detects behavior that could indicate trouble. It's a great feature on paper, but many car experts found the one featured in the 2023 Lexus RX to be overly aggressive, beeping and sounding alerts even when they were alert and paying attention. This could certainly detract from the peaceful driving experience that Lexus is known to offer. Interior Design the old RX's interior was nice enough, but some materials needed to match the quality of others. The redesigned model makes the overall quality more consistent, and everything you see and touch has an upscale feel. A nice detail in the new cabin is available suede door panel inserts, which creates a unique look and are standard on upper trims. A longer wheelbase is said to make for a roomier cabin, but that might depend on who you ask and how the RX is equipped. The redesign slightly lowers the overall height, combined with an available panoramic moonroof that can intrude on headroom for rear seat passengers. Taller folks in the back might find they have to recline the seat backs to avoid making contact with the roof. Moreover, loading a car seat into the second row of the RX should be easy thanks to easily reachable anchor points and the individually reclining rear seat backs, but it's not. The door pockets front and rear are large but aren't lined with felt so smaller items rattle around. The huge front grille. While Lexus has always had a more quirky style than other manufacturers, the front grille of the new 2023 Lexus RX will definitely put some buyers off. The enlarged grille falls in line with the design seen on the BMW 7 Series and the Audi A8. According to Lexus, RX stands for Radiant Crossover. I'm sure we could call this grille, um, Radiant. 
right? It definitely doesn't remind us at all of a basking shark. Many Lexus fans have commented on the look of the new front grille, stating how it's ugly and awful. Uh, we kind of like it as it looks modern and different, but we'll leave it to you to make your own mind up on this one. Convertible controls. A minor issue that we're not so crazy about is steering wheel controls that aren't labeled because they can be used for multiple functions if the vehicle is equipped with an available heads-up display. Lexus has cleverly made them multifunctional, but at the same time, their functions are only shown in the heads-up display and need too much focus to perform simple tasks. Instead, the current function is displayed on the HUD, which is not easy to see in certain conditions. Most of the climate control specifications are readily accessible and easy to use. The three-zone climate system did an excellent job of maintaining a set temperature, but car experts thought that its center vents were too low to be particularly effective on a warm day. So car experts are not a big fan of the Lexus RX because of this. Is it worth buying? Car experts expected more from the redesigned 2023 Lexus RX. It gets points for its gas figures and its overall comfort, but it also falls well short of the mark, which is set by other luxury SUVs in terms of performance as well as interior quality. The new Lexus RX 350h is dreadfully underpowered, while the RX 350 and the RX 500h are merely average. Car experts also experienced usual false alarms from the driver attention warning system and had to go through the touchscreen menus to disable that function which is the worst indictment for safety-related features. The lane keep assist could have been better at keeping the RX centered as well. Now, these problems could be fixed before the 2023 Lexus RX goes on sale at the end of 2022. Its towing, which is not an expressly common activity in the RX, is not so impressive. When properly equipped, the Lexus RX can only make up a 3,500-pound tow rating. Competitors like the Acura MDX, Mercedes GLE, and Genesis GV80 can all tow far more. The pricing has hasn't been announced yet, but if it's similar to the previous generation, which started at around $47,000, the Lexus RX would be a relative bargain when compared to the pricier BMW X5 and Mercedes-Benz GLE. Alternatively, you can consider upgrading to plug-in hybrids like the Volvo XC60 or XC90, or stepping up to the growing list of luxury and non-luxury electric SUVs. The 2023 Lexus RX does have a few minor problems, but overall, we're willing to overlook them for what is, in fact, a great car to buy. Click the video on your screen now to find out what makes the new RX such a great car and why buyers are going mad for it.